Well, hello friends, it's Carol and I am here for Toddler Tuesday. Now, Toddler Tuesday this week is hosted for the very first time by Mandy over at Mandy's Cuddle Bugs. And I want to say, welcome to Toddler Tuesdays. Mandy, we're so glad that you are a part of Toddler Tuesday. Today I have my beautiful Kenny here. And Kenny is the Camillo Sculpt. He is uh, sculpted by Georgia Piggott. And his artist is Kristen Van Wright. So um, today, Kenny is going to get changed out of this little um, romper that is white with little patriotic <laughs> dinosaurs on it. He's going to get changed out of that into something that will um, show a warning label for Kenny. Now, Kenny is my little pseudo toddler. Uh, he is a toddler wannabe. He's not really toddling yet. He's still a crawler, but he has a lot of personality. And so I'm going to change him into this little shirt that says, I like the nightlife. That is his warning label. He likes to be up all night. He does not like to go to sleep. In fact, he never sleeps, this boy. Um, I'm going to put a new diaper on him that will coordinate. And Kenny likes hats, and he has chosen this puppy dog hat today. So we'll get started putting on his warning label. So here I'm going to take his little toy. It's his little favorite dolly from his favorite Auntie Claudia. Thank you so much for that Auntie Claudia. Right Kenny? Oh yeah he's got a wave. All right let me take your keys. And we will just get started. Now he is a bigger baby. He weighs about 10 pounds. And so he definitely is a little bit um, to change. So I'll just do my best without it looking too awkward. Um, yeah. Well, you keep shifting your head. His neck is really... Um, kind of loose. I like it so that I can swivel his head any way I want, but then sometimes it slides down really fast. He is broad-shouldered and thick-bellied because he is a big boy and he eats. I think that's what he does all night. Maybe he crawls down to the kitchen and gets into the yummy foodstuffs down there. Um, yeah. So today I was um, listening to Cena's um, video about what motivates you to dress your babies and um, many different things. Uh, if, the, if there's a theme going on, that motivates me. Sometimes when I get new clothes, that motivates me. Um, but part of her question was, um, how do you know which baby to dress? So if there is a theme, I often will look for the outfit first and then um, look for what baby it's going to fit. Other times I have a baby in mind and then I go looking for the outfit. Well, this fits him really, really well. Now time to get his new diaper on. Um, I do like to use cloth diapers on my babies. I won't show you anything. He doesn't really have anything, but I'm not going to show you anyway, because who wants to see baby parts. I don't think he needs an insert today. 
I'll just slide this underneath first. And then I can slide this one out as I slide this one up. There, that was pretty good. Um, maybe you do need the insert to make it look better. I don't know. Da -da 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 -da. I should have taken off your onesie, mister. But that's all right. I wanted this little one this little diaper to be his covering on the bottom instead of the onesie, but that's quite all right. I will just tuck his onesie up in there. Whoops, snapperoos are sometimes hard for my thumbs. I do like a good cloth diaper fit on a baby. All right, I'm just gonna tuck that onesie. Oh yeah, Kenny, you're gonna have to roll over a little bit, mister. So I can tuck your onesie. Sorry, buddy. All right. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. Ha ha. There you are. Doesn't that look cute? Because it is summer and we don't need too much covering and I know this is not a summer hat but you chose it I don't know who it's by and why GB whatever that company is I just found this cute little adorable hat a while back at a thrifting shop <laughs> you don't want the straps to show all right he doesn't want it to be a baby hat. He wants it to be a, a big boy cap. All right. So there you go, mister. How does that look? So adorable. You are a cute, cute boy. You do like the nightlife for sure. All right. So... You know who keeps him company all night? This little baby right here. <laughs> yeah, that baby keeps you company all night, doesn't he? I was gonna try to... There we go. How's that? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so my motivation for changing babies sometimes comes from the theme Sometimes I just feel like changing kids out. Um, and then sometimes I am motivated by what I see on other channels. I guess I'm pretty uh, wishy-washy in what my choices are. But um, yeah, I change my babies for lots of different reasons and lots of different motivations so I was talking to a friend on the phone today and earlier this morning my friend Sherry and she said uh, she was telling me about uh, her doll collection and how she's um, in the process of getting a new doll and uh, so I asked her how many dolls does she have now and she was so excited because now she has 10 and um, that's awesome. And she said, she asked me how many I have. And I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I would have to count. So she's like, well, how many reborns do you have? So I counted around my nursery and I was a little shocked myself because I have 20. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my goodness. And then so then we were talking about Ashton Drake's, how many do you have? And uh, I have 10. And Paradise Galleries, I have seven. And Kenby's, I have four in my nursery. 
and then um, other babies that are um, good size, I have 11 other kinds of dolls. That would be Lee Middleton's, um, Reba Schick, uh, just different dolls like that. And then I have a whole bunch of tiny little dolls. Um, yeah, so for only being in the hobby a little over two years, I have gotten quite the collection and uh, I love every one and I don't want to get rid of anybody, but I'm going to have to come up with a new way to organize my nursery because it definitely is getting a little crowded in here. So um, I need to clean it up and uh, and when I do, then I will do a nursery tour for you and um, show you what I've done with the nursery. Oh, and I did not include my one um, silicone doll that is um, that I got pre-loved. She's an Amazon um, Ivita baby. Um, but yeah, so several several dolls here. And uh, I need, I guess I need to do more videos so I can show them more often. Um, but for the time being, uh, I just have to go with what I have time for. So here is my um, entry for Toddler Tuesday. Kenny with his warning label. I like the nightlife. Yes, he does. The boy who never sleeps. He will keep the nursery awake all night. All right, friends, if you haven't been over to Mandy's channel, go and visit her. She's got a great channel, lots of fun. Um, always something to smile about um, over there. And yeah, so with that said, I just want you to know that um, I am praying for several of us in the doll community who um, are having difficult times. I'm also um, keeping my eyes open for the signs, wonders, and miracles all around. Our God is such an awesome God, and he wants us to have his blessings. And so he puts them there for us to discover. So until the next video, <coughs> excuse me, may God bless you, and bye-bye.